Hey guys, today we'll be making an adorable, poofy, curly, Easter burlap and deco mesh wreath. What you will need, I have an adorable sign for the center. I have a 16 inch wreath ring that already has the stems attached, but you can definitely use any size wreath ring and attach your own stems. I will link videos in the description box down below showing you how to do that. Deco mesh and burlap, six inches. Some ribbon. Chanel stems, scissors and a rotary cutter, and a hot glue gun. Alright, let's get started. So I'm going to raise all of my stems. I always like to do this because it helps to make the wreath making process a lot faster. All of the stems are ready for when I'm adding my burlap and my mesh. And I'm going to do the outer and inner rings. I'm going to fold it to a nice little point and start on my outer ring. Place my burlap, twist it a couple of times, I'm going to pull to make a poof. You can measure the size of your poof if you want to do so and make sure they're the exact same but I just kind of estimate and I'm going to place it in the next stem and twist it a couple of times. Nice cute poof. I'm going to do that again another poof and place it in the next stem. So I'm going to do this all the way around my outer ring and then come back and repeat the same steps on my inner ring. back to my starting point I'm just going to untwist my stem place my burlap and twist it back just like that then I'm just going to cut away the rest of my burlap and start over on the inner ring and just tuck that away and repeat the same steps on the inner ring Coming back to my starting point, just like on the outer ring, make a poof, untwist my stem, place my burlap, and twist it back. And then cut away the excess and tuck it away. So this is what it's looking like. So cute. So now I'm just going to add in burlap and mesh to my individual stem. Alright guys, so I've cut my burlap and my mesh into 8 inch long pieces. And I'm going to start with my burlap. I'm going to fold it in half and bring both corners up to the center. Just like that. Then I'm going to take some of my mesh. And I think I'm actually going to keep it at a cute little curl. And just curl, curl, just like so to make this adorable bundle. I'm going to go ahead and add in white as well. And I'm crisscrossing all of my mesh so that everything is visible. I have my burlap that's visible and it looks so cute and precious. Scrunch it in the center. Find my stem. Place my bundle and twist it a couple of times. And then tuck it away. If I were going to add more mesh for anything, I wouldn't tuck away my stem just yet. But I don't think I'm going to add anything else because this is a pretty cute little bundle there. So I'm going to show you that again. Start off with my burlap, fold it in half, and bring both sides up. Then I'm going to take my mesh and just have it in cute little curls and crisscross the three colors and I try to alternate which color I have on top as well scrunch it once more place it in my next bundle and twist it a couple of times then tuck it away it looks so cute and precious I'm just adjusting it a little bit more so that's what it's looking like. 
So I'm just going to continue making bundles all the way around my inner ring and then we'll switch to the outer ring. so cute and precious I decided to go with curls for my mesh but you can definitely go with spikes or you can even scrunch your mesh and make it look similar to the burlap whatever you prefer but I thought this was just so cute and precious now I'm going to add a little to the outer ring So we have all of the burlap and mesh in place. It looks so cute and precious. And I'm just uh, adjusting anything that needs adjusting, making sure all of my poofs look so cute and precious. And I'm also kind of pushing it outward a little bit because we're about to place the sign in the center. You can definitely go with more mesh if you choose to do so. Less mesh, you can go with all burlap, no burlap. The possibilities are endless. Just have fun with it and make it your own. But I think this is just so cute and precious and it looks adorable. And I like the mix of the burlap and the mesh together. But again, go with whatever you prefer. All right, we're going to go ahead and get our sign prepped so we can add it to the center. All right, here's our adorable sign. Just going to flip it over, cut off the top little hanger. And take two stems, twist them together to form one long stem for the top and one for the bottom. Then we're just going to hot glue it in place. And I just like to make sure I have some of the stem hanging off of each side so that I can easily attach it to my wreath ring. Right, so we're just going to place the sign in the center. Again, I like to just kind of push everything outward a little bit so that I don't cover too much of it. Snugly place my sign. Then I'm just going to attach the four stems to my actual wreath ring. So I'm just going to push the mesh and burlap aside and attach the stem to the ring. Just like that. Twist it a couple of times and tuck it away. And then I'm just going to replace my mesh and uh, repeat the same step for all four stems. Alright, so I have all of the stems in place. Now I'm just adjusting, making sure I cover any gaps or spaces. It's looking so cute and precious already. I do have some really cute ribbons. And I'm just going to make a quick little bow, but I will link videos in the description box down below showing you how to make adorable bows. And those videos will be in more detail if you want to check those out. And I'm not measuring, I'm just kind of estimating for a quick little bow. I'm just going to do the exact same thing and just stack them one on top of the other. kind of adjusting pulling down my tails making it look so cute and precious so you can glue it to the corner of your sign or you can attach it to the actual wreath ring I think I'm just going to take a stem and attach it to the wreath ring and you are all done so cute simple and easy to make modify the color the style add in any additional embellishments you prefer